very good morning students it is a very nice day today and now uh, i hope you all are safe and fine at home now in this current scenario of covid 19 pandemic it has made us all stay in safe levels in our homes so students our brihan mumbai education department has brought this golden chance of online classes to help all of us hence our students studies and learning must continue students uh one request is there please don't write in the chat box when lesson slide show is on to let you enjoy your lesson very nicely only when i say students give your answers then you will tell answers students you are very clever you can take screenshot from mobile online lesson we'll learn better turn by turn waiting for our chance to answer now in this english medium we are in the class 5 the subject is evs2 the topic is from shelters to village settlements and i am your expert teacher mr sanjay ji yadav the cno is ratilal burungle sir our uh, departmental staff is i'm from school new mahi municipal english up school expert teachers mr sanjay ji yadav administrative officer mrs neha lata dumbre nodal beat officer Mr. Shalt Kuradi, Nodal HM; Pushpam Mary Paul, Assistant Nodal HM; Manpreeti Kaur Anand, and School HM, Mrs. Sara Benhur Jangila. Come on, let us now see. We start before we start any prayer. We have to say our prayer. So, I want you to join me and say after me. Yes. Uh, students are you there with me yes yes okay now join your hands close your eyes and we will say this wonderful prayer thank you god thank you god god for the food we eat for the food we eat thank you god thank you god for the, the world so sweet For the world so sweet. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For the birds that sing. For the birds that sing. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For everything. For everything. So, before we start anything, prayers for all students also, and it is the shortest possible prayer that. you can say to help you all you can repeat after me oh god oh god please help us please sir guide us guide us bless our class bless our class students students and all people and all people now this is the standard subject evs2 from shelters to village settlements let us see now students what can you say about in this picture you are the man you are the thalle man niyandan thalle man yes this niyandan man it and he was living in the caves 11000 years ago that was before christ he was part of the later old stone age he lived in europe where the climate was post ice age how was the climate post it was ice. post ice age it was ice was everywhere ice was very covered in the regions now you can see in his face his nose is very broad okay he is having a big head okay his lips are also very big he has got big eyes a big forehead can can anyone just uh, repeat what i have said just now 
Big head, big lips. Big head, big nose. Big head, big nose. Big nose. Big face. Big head. Forehead. Yes. Big eyes. Big lips. Yes. Big yes. Big so he was. So having everything big, and big brain also inside. So that means he was very clever, just like you. So he. Uh, was living in the caves. Now, this we can say Neanderthals. He was very intelligent ancestor. About uh, there were Earth was subject to cycles of glacial and interglacial period, and it was covered into ice sheets. The climate. Now you can see in this picture, it is the closest relative of the human family tree, and his science name is below the picture Homo neanderthalensis. On now right side, we have, can see Homo sapiens. Okay. Now you can see in this map. Where the fossils or the bones and all different things of the Neanderthals were found in the caves, in the plains, mostly on the top part of the earth and the north uh, uh, side of Alaska, Siberia. It started from Germany. This was first Neander. There was a village called Neander. Now. It was uh, discovered from there. So you can see this photo. It is written on top. Here, Neanderthal uh, remains were discovered. So this is the site. This is the first site. So that name um, was uh, became famous. What was the name? Neanderthal. So as you can see, it, um, Level of the Earth's surface is covered with ice sheets, and ice sheets. When you open the fridge, it is zero degrees. But when you open the freezer in your fridge, all ice, uh, small small ice cubes, you can uh, see. Yes. So in that outside that Earth, the full layer you can see in Alaska. And now their ancestors were Eskimos. Now, ah, now later ancestors just so they lived in igloos or ice houses, but they these Neanderthals they lived in caves because they did not know at that time to make houses very much. Okay, they only knew how to uh, use the trees and uh, bamboo. So then they used uh, bones uh, on the tip of the spears. You can see they are carrying how many? Uh, you can see in this picture. How many Neanderthals can you see in this picture? Yes, Three, five. This there are Neanderthals there are five, and there five are Neanderthals. What are they wearing? What are their clothes? Can you tell me? Boots. They are boots made of what? What material yeah. were the boots made of? Straw. It can be straw. No, it can be inside. There can be. Straw outside there was animal skin, and that animal was mammoth, which was the ancestor of the present day elephant. Now you can see they had big noses, so the air, the cold air which went inside, they they try to keep themselves were five feet much. So now they lived in groups. Can you hear me now better? Yes, so yes. All the cave, yeah. So, so they lived in groups. They wear leather skins, and these leather skins, zero to fifty degrees of very cold climate, because they were 
hunting mammoths they were eating tigers elephants elk deer caribou to protect themselves and um, roasted them on the fires which were lighted in the cave yes so they were making the boat also so they were now uh, living in the mountains and then they were uh, mountain slopes they were having camps then they used to come down in these boats and then they some of them they had made this uh, type of houses also so slowly they were coming out of the caves and now they started learning to make houses like this can you observe the pictures and tell me a few lines can you tell what you can see here today this is the igloo what is it made up of this this is a made oh. of ice it made up ice. of ice very ice good bricks. bricks of ice and bricks. bricks of ice so it is packed and packed so inside the there is the all the mammoth skins and all the animals tiger skins are kept inside so make them warm blanket so their jackets and all they started learn learning and keeping themselves safe from the weather here you can see you can the bones of the mammoth elephant is the entrance and what a wonderful this is a simple hut where they have made so this is a type of a seasonal camp which they have made on the mountain or hill slopes to protect themselves from the cold uh, blowing winds of the winter you know in Mah maharashtra in which months see the winter season comes in october november december and jan so which ma month students the winter month season we can see october november december january january yes so now slowly as the uh, camps was uh, they were trying to make the camps so slowly they learned the use of fire they collected the wood and they uh, in the last lesson fifth lesson we saw that neanderthal lived mainly in the caves and at that time the climate in the europe was very cold how is the climate at that time it was very cold, cold. the neanderthals could protect themselves from freezing temperatures because they wore leather clothing and they made use you can see two of them two of the neanderthals they are lighting the fire in front of the house and two over there behind they are take, uh, taking out the meat from the killed animal so they are preparing what are, do you think they are doing what they are getting ready for for cooking yeah for the winter for their food they they now they learned first they eat raw meat but now when the, they invented the fire they found out about the fire by burning wood now they erected tents inside uh, the caves and outside also behind see you can see the back side of this uh, man standing there is a cave structure there are two caves structure one on the left side and one on the right side so slowly they came down from the mountains into the valleys and they started living so now they were intelligent now slowly the a climate was getting mediterranean type now you can see uh, as seen in the ice age film as part 3 can you remember manny the mammoth mother elephant was yes. giving birth to baby elephant called bubbles what was the name of the baby elephant bubbles okay bubbles. so they they had shown in the ice age part 
three. If you can type these three words in YouTube, you will be finding this Ice Age three full movie. So then this Neanderthal man, they uh, were hunting. They were moving from constantly from one part of the forest to another, and then slowly they were making camps like this. is in small tents uh, made up of logs of wood trees and animal skins and bones and to keep themselves warm in the very very cold night now slowly between the two ice age the climate was growing little hotter and this type of climate change affected on the diet habit so they started coming down they saw the river as you, you have seen before the homo sapiens the the neanderthal started living more and more and then they uh, used the fallen trees to make boats and then uh, these bones of the spear they started uh, harpoons okay they started fishing so their food habits changed from hunting to fishing so fishing was also later included in their diet this was the later picture of the neanderthal these are uh, the uh, later new stone age so this age is divided into old stone age middle stone age and new stone age or neolithic cavemen so these what we see are neolithic cave men these are neolithic cave men now they built shelters they made clothing and they created advanced tools okay now slowly they learned use of making Hello, stones it is not coming slowly they came to make the stones they came to make the stones clothing uh they made the, they made the stone shelters and then they created advanced tools from stones now there uh, in the textbooks you can see the mammoth picture in the textbook the photo uh, has got a, a large showing a large elephant which is about 5 foot now here you, you can see the seasonal camps which uh, who can uh, tell me about this camp they are this shelter was made of branch and animals ladder okay it was made out of bones and animal bones. skin and leather and stones very good here you can see a picture of a lady neanderthal you can see how broad the nose is how big the eyes is the head is very big and lot of hair okay now this what is happening in this part of the picture who can tell me he is bringing the elephant this is is it the elephant or it is a spotted spotted animal it is it is having the horns it, it is, is having spotted animal so that spotted animal is a deer it is a spotted, spotted animal. deer ah uh, or the okay so here we can again see that for all this hunting activity the males uh, needed very long height okay and very long muscles but there were the a lady the uh, female neanderthals they were also helping the family uh, she was very intelligent the female neanderthal you can see this family they are uh, trying to uh, all the uh, vegetables which were found in the forest that vegetables and medicine plants she is uh, 
trying to make the sorting out and then keeping it storing it for the food whenever needed so this female neanderthals they were also very clever in making the diet needs of Sorry, the homo is not coming homo sapiens okay now yeah. what can we see here They are cooking. Who is cooking? Running the fires and cooking houses. Very good. So, how how did the Neanderthal protect themselves from freezing temperatures? You can uh, uh, say first. Listen, Neanderthals they wore leather clothes. Yes, they used animal skins to erect tents inside the caves to keep themselves warm. Uh, so Neanderthals were protected from freezing temperature. Now, can you tell me uh, this answer once again? They are burning the fire and making the house and removing the animal leather and preparing for Wait. the cook. cooking and winter so the neanderthals were protected from freezing temperature because they learned the use of fire they had animal skins now this was a great change you can see these are the bones and these bones are called fossils what are they called fossils Fossil. so these uh, in stonehenge in the europe the back side you can see these are the burial ground they were they uh, worshiped gods the gods of nature okay and you can see they were started collecting fruits uh, like yams roots and uh, the so pig and coming. animals and animals okay so they were they were uh, eating both vegetables fruits roots and hunting animals then fishing so can you tell me now how the diet was changing how the food was changing what they had learned in to eat from the forest the animals fruit Fruit, vegetables. Yes. Yes. Fruit, yes. Fruit, yes. Fruit, yes. Yes. So you can see the apples and uh, the yams and the roots. They have a seasonal wild grapes. Yes. Other seasonal fruits and roots. Yes. Rice, yes. Jawar bazaar. you can what can you see in this picture it is a cave type of house where the uh, old stone age caveman or neanderthals lived in maharashtra there is you can see in kaneri caves okay in our near mumbai so now man started building what are the uh, picture number 1 he building huts now these huts were made out of grasses which are dried oh, no, grasses no. big big houses then second these were all shelters because now man learned to move from one place to another so in the second picture what can you see seasonal Village. tents yes they uh, started living in a pattern of village form but still you can see the covering of the houses was made of leather skins okay in the third picture how the scenery changed can you see now slowly this is the third picture is telling about the village settlement in the bank of the rivers you can see lots of huts houses now this is So who can tell me what you can see in this picture on left side there is a wild boar this is a wild animal what is wild boar so they were hunting wild boars they were apples, uh, hunting bananas. apples from forest they were uh, taking Food, bananas fruits 
then carrots and grains also yes now slowly they started and they were living down in groups of 25 to 30 huts now they slowly started very, they were growing cotton so they were growing cotton and then this cotton clothes they were wearing they were wearing the cotton clothes so thick uh, and then they were growing what you can see rice millets bajra okay uh, maize all these they were uh, now what can you see in this picture can you tell me this is a type of a house now it is a house on a Never. boat where can you Which place can you see this house? Uh, uh, we can which see part? This which part of India? Which part of India? Of India? In north part of India, uh, it, there is a Kashmir, Dal Lake. So yes. there, you can see these house boats, which are having uh, this. Uh, this is a house on a boat which is having around 10 rooms so it is a very big house boat 10 rooms okay so it's the same way in kerala also there are house boats so north india south india also now this is a observe see the picture observe the picture and tell me what do you can describe about each pic this picture uh, there was a on the top roof 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 of the house yes that is made of dried dried grass dried grass very good children and then all these steps and the front uh, courtyard or uh, it is made out of the full house is made of combination of stone and wood stone and wood there is a stony pathway you can see the walk walking no walking yeah. place made out of stone all around the house also and in front of the house and the stone steps going up to the house so where can you find such houses where were such type of uh, later uh, stone these are the uh, settlements these are the type of village settlements in villages of assam manipur meghalaya mizoram tibet okay darjeeling kulu manali all mountain slopes you can where can you find this type of uh, houses students can you tell me the names of the places village settlement Uh, very correct, very correct. But in which areas? I have told just now the uh, names of the places also. Kulu Manali. In Kulu Manali, and in South India there is Kurg, uh, is a hill stations also. Okay, so they were where the climate was very cool. Okay, now this is another picture. Where is you can see? Can you describe? how is this it's a very huge uh, for a joint family maybe around 25 to 30 people can easily stay the down part is made out of stone and this is a very stone built up very high walls so all this walls with the snowy snowy winds they are protected so down part the animals are living okay the domesticated animals cows buffalo sheep mountain goats okay they kept over there for milk and milk products and then they used to live on the top and the topmost part of the house was for the family god okay can you tell me describe this This house is built for thirties to twenties people and a joint family. In the yeah, in the in their house there um the twenty five people sleep. They in their house easily. 
so at this time we were the race of intelligent homo sapiens who could make very good houses this you can see observe this picture and you can tell me you can see what you can see in front of the house plants yes so this is a small garden in which the they uh, uh, later uh, our ancestors they who were uh, the job from hunting stopped and now farming the garden in front of the house there was some fa- where fruit trees vegetable trees they were making okay now this is what is the example of this type of the house it is made out of mud it is plastered with mud and bamboos and inside and then now they learn to make the mud bricks also okay so this is near the uh, away from the mountains but near the forest okay what about this house can you tell me a few lines about this picture made of made of animals bones oh i don't see any animal bones here now on top there are leather skins but on the outside on the all the all around you can see the woolen carpets have you seen in the run of kutch there is a tent it is called a tent what is this called it is a tent it is it is a found in the desert region so here the temperatures of the mediterranean type were very hot summers up to 50 degrees of summers to to protect them from very hot summers they started to live in such tents now we can see this uh, in your book this is the picture on page number 30 Uh, next slide is this is a madhya pradesh this is a place in bhim betka where the cave uh, men used to live the old stone age middle stone age and later part somewhat some people of the later stone age also lived so there are all different level in this first floor second floor third floor in one single hill they have carved so many rooms inside the rocks you can see the holes small 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 holes those are the windows okay so they lived in groups now what is this children igloo is an igloo house okay what is this this is a made for the 30 to 20s people this is mountain house which is maybe in himachal pradesh in which area it is seen in himachal pradesh okay near the mountains okay now here you can see the picture in which you it is explained yeah so now as you can see in the new stone age era man the uh, a mammoth like a smaller animals which were hunted boar deer mountain goat and sheep which uh, animals were hunted mammoth and animals wild animal. boar deer mountain goat and sheep now this pattern changed and the homo sapiens started to roam far away in the regions they moved their camps to different places according to seasonal changes and they harvested seasonal grains and gathered seasonal fruits now here you can see that they are uh, killing the mammoth okay so they they were very expert in the hunting skills and using the tusks the ivory tusks okay now here children what you can see there are different activities on the right side top you can see near the mountain there are some 
for leather uh, tents which are there small temporary houses or seasonal camps then there is one lady who is drying and taking out the uh, drying the skin of an animal then below uh, below you can see on the right side one lady is stitching clothes making clothes out of leather skin then you can see three uh, pe uh, people of neanderthals and their leader uh, is standing with bow and arrow and they, they are making tools of uh, you on of stone okay so stone and iron they started so the left side also one blacksmith or person who is making the stone uh, shelter now different tools there you can see on top left side you can see a group they are taking out the skin from the freshly killed caribou animal now as you can see they were in the village settlements they were going for different places and hunt for hunting animals which later got left out due to their expertise in uh, growing crops now this neolithic stone age how is it different from the old stone age they were not living in caves they were living down on the ground so the villages started and they you can see the houses covered with leaf dried grass and in front of the picture you can see different activities can you name any activity which yes. is written bloom yes handicraft bloom handicrafts they were making all Go different on. types types of uh, things and there is a pot on which fire is burning below then on the left side there are some domesticated animals which are wild dogs are chasing and bringing so then up there is farming or agriculture and what is burials burials where burials is place where they put their dead okay the uh, when you die so they are put in this they buried them in the earth so that uh, the all the body can return back to earth okay now here you can see a inside of a village when man became homo sapien they became intelligent they learned the use of fire in the first uh, number one there is the entrance to the village it is a very high wall surrounded by bamboos and there is a watch tower so in the picture too what can you see there is one boy who is learning how to make iron iron instruments like spears bows arrows and now they learned how to uh, melt uh, iron and take it into different shapes on the left side in picture number 6 you can see a person is having in the right hand some hammer and numbers 8 um, 7 and 8 the picture you can see they are pouring hot liquid into the mold okay now what are uh, number 9 on top left you can see is shape of a what is the shape of a cone shape like an ice cream the ice cream is turned upside down so that uh, like a like a straw hat which is turned upside down so it is like a made out of straw dried grass so this is all this is a storage house in which all the village food uh, so just like we we are having shopping malls so they had this village market inside this big house okay so what can you see here now mud house it is a mud house very good 
Now let us, we have all learnt this lesson. Now let's see from shelters to village settlements. I will read out one one question and then you can give me the answer after the pink line. Answer each of the following questions in one sentence. What is the characteristic of new stone age? Who can give me the answer? The beginning of construction is the characteristic of new stone age. New stone age. Uh, one at a time. Can you one more pass? One more student uh, read. The beginning of cultivation is the characteristic of new stone age. Very good. So we can see that the beginning of cultivation or agriculture is the characteristic or the speciality of the new stone age. Now, next question. Which animals did the Homo sapiens mainly hunt? Homo sapiens mainly have sheep, deer, wild boars. Yes, students, you can take a screenshot of all the slides which you want to question answers. Okay, so you can write it later. So, this which animals did the Homo sapiens? They mainly hunt. Now, Homo sapiens mainly hunted. Sheep, deer, wild yeah, boar, yeah, mountain yeah, goat, yeah, and yeah, fish. Yeah. Now, who lived in the caves? Neanderthals. Neanderthals. Who can tell me the spelling of Neanderthals? N E A N D E R T H A L S. Very good. Students, you are very bright, very clever. Now, I will tell the next question. Name two types of houses of stone age that you know. What is the answer? Caves. Very good. They lived in caves. We have seen. Right? We have seen it in the old stone age and middle stone age and the later part of Neolithic age. Little bit. Then let's go to the next question. The fill in the blanks. Now, the climate in Europe was extremely dash. So, cold. Who can read this full sentence? The climate in Europe was extremely cold. Europe was extremely cold. The mammoth he was an ancestor of the elephant. The mammoth was an ancestor of the elephant. Okay, the Homo sapiens dashed seasonal wild grains and gathered seasonal fruit and roots. Homo sapiens dashed seasonal wild grains and gathered seasonal fruits and roots. Wild grains and gathered seasonal fruits and roots. Yes, we have seen this. Now it is revision. So Homo sapiens, who are the intelligent ancestors, our ancestors of modern man, they harvested. Who can tell me the spelling of harvested? H-A-R-V-E-S-T-E-D. And seasonal? S-E-A-S-O-N-A-L. And mammoth? M A double M A L S. M A double M O T H. Okay, he he was the ancestor of the present day elephant. Now you can see the climate in the Europe was extremely cold. The mammoth was an ex ancestor of the elephant. Homo sapiens harvested seasonal wild grains and gathered seasonal fruits and roots. Now, I'm children. I'm going to ask you. Question three, state whether the following statements are true or false. In the Middle Stone Age, groups of Homo sapiens had established, they had made camps all over the world. True. Okay. Very good. So, they, you have seen before that they established seasonal camps. Now, we go to the second part. Homo sapiens began to depend more on hunting animals like wild sheep and elephant. True or false? False. 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 Very good. So, 
so that means homo sapiens they were not hunting animals any time more but they were domesticating you have seen the mountain uh, uh, near the mountain slope that red color house you have seen no they were giving the uh, uh, hunting animals wild sheep okay the beginning of cultivation is characteristic culture of the old stone age true or false okay now we have seen this slide now which animals did the homo sapiens mainly hunt at the homo sapiens small animals like the wild boar tiger mountain and goat and sheep and goat and sheep why did neanderthals use animal bodies as stand Neanderthals used animal heads to identify animals in such cases for them. Okay, student, only give answer one at a time. Neanderthals used animal bodies and hide skins. Hides mean skins to erect tents inside the caves for warmth. What are the characteristics or the special uh, qualities of the new Stone Age? The beginning of cultivation is the characteristics of the culture of the new stone age. Very good. The beginning of cultivation is the characteristic of the culture of new stone age. So agriculture started the ending of the stone age, and a Homo sapiens or intelligent man started living on the plain areas. now give reasons the why the diet of homo sapiens underwent a change now i am going to read you just listen the climate was getting warm and environment was changing everywhere big animal like mammoth were on the way to extinction due to the changing environment and also because they were being hunted on a very large scale so students therefore the diet of homo sapiens underwent a change and they had largely turned to fishing who can repeat this the can climate this was getting warmer and the environment was changing everywhere big animals like mammoths were were on the way of the extinction due to the changing environment and also because they were hunted on a very large scale therefore the diet of homo sapiens underwent a change and they had largely tended to fishing excellent students you can take a screenshot you all are looking very clever now let's go to the second part why homo sapiens needed to stay in one place for a long period of time so i am telling you in the hunting and gathering way of life it, it was necessary for them to keep moving uh, time to time however agriculture made it possible to store food and use it over longer period hence there is no need to keep moving constantly the nature of agriculture work was also made it necessary to stay in one place therefore people started to stay in one place for a long period of time you can see the big house in which all the numbers i had put you know that was the uh, the family was storage uh, for the whole village now who can read this answer in the hunting Okay, therefore people started to stay in one place for long period of time. Let us see. Tell me what foodstuffs this the Neolithic Stone Age man eat as his diet. that is the new stone age not the old stone age so man became intelligent now so he was growing crops so what you can see in that jug milk milk then next to that there is a cup is a butter But and then on the left side and you can see milk product called cheese, cheese. 
okay amul lavino amul de uh, cheese now and amul chocolates also and the right side is a popcorn popcorn we have got from maze so a neolithic man stone age man learned all this as his diet so what are these what Brain. did prehistoric Brain. prehistoric humans actually they eat a uh, grains okay now what can you say about this picture this is a picture of hut and the very good now i am going to say this question observe the constructed picture of the middle stone age given in the textbook page 31 seasonal camps and answer the following question describe the structure of houses in the picture the roof you... is in spring and is covered by grass yes the roof is inclining the inclining means it is sloping down and what materials are used to construct the houses grass grass yes students one at a time uh, the what materials are used to construct the houses grass and wood grass have been used. used to construct the houses what kind of jobs could the people in seasonal camps have been doing the people in seasonal camps were hunting hunting making tools and making wood very good the people in seasonal camps were engaged in fishing hunting making tools and making small boats so we have revised this in the evaluation part now let us see small fill in the blank i will read and you you can tell me the answer the neanderthals may live mainly in king caves the neanderthal lives in extremely cold climate in your okay neanderthal could protect themselves from freezing temperature the dash made use of fire the neanderthals made use of fire very good now come to the fifth number in the middle stone age groups of dash had established camps all over the world sapiens homo sapiens okay in the middle stone age the dash of the homo sapiens undergoing change diet diet very good now we have finished the lesson and i am giving you this homework it you can see this picture on the left side which is animal is this it is a woolly mammoth yes now you can answer in your notebooks both these questions okay and your teacher is going to check it okay yes now thank you very much